Another uh, hot button issue is uh, cholesterol. Uh, people go back and forth whether it's the bad guy in heart disease or it's actually needed. And you know the statin drugs. A lot of doctors will try to drive that number into the ground. Um, where do you stand on on that whole issue? We need cholesterol for many physical processes. So, for example, all of the steroid hormones in the body, the base for making all the steroid hormones is cholesterol. It's in our cell walls. Mm -hmm. We need it for a whole variety of different uh, functions in the body. So it's been demonized, but we do need a certain amount of it. Part of the issue is the ratio. Uh, the HDL, the high-density lipoprotein, ideally we have a, a good balance with a low-density lipoprotein. And the main way we know to increase the HDL, the good cholesterol, is to exercise. We don't have any drugs for it. They're working on it. They're trying. <laughs> but the exercise is our best way of increasing the HDL. Something a lot of uh, people overlooked, it's, it, we're becoming more sophisticated about this now, but in the 70s and 80s when there was lots of hype about reducing cholesterol, I remember walking into a convenience store and there was this huge sign. It was on this rack of candy, a floor to ceiling rack of candy, and there was a big sign plastered on it that said, cholesterol free. Mm. <laughs> and what a lot of people don't realize is eating simple carbohydrates is that the body, if it has more simple carbohydrate, more blood sugar than it can utilize right away, it's converted into cholesterol and triglycerides. So we just have the precursor to the cholesterol. Sure. So the, uh, a lot of the work, uh, I've actually had patients who were willing to do work with diet and exercise, stabilizing their blood sugar, reducing simple carbohydrates as well as saturated fats, animal fats, and they were able to lower their cholesterol levels. Mm. Statins are an option for people who refuse. They just won't make the changes. So uh, there are a lot of options available. And I, I, again, my bias is if people are willing to make the lifestyle changes, they often can bypass the statins and the other drugs.